Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Lawrence High School Student of the Month Virtual Recognition Ceremony for the month of January. My name is Dr. Barry Exa, and I'm one of the assistant principals here at Lawrence High School. While the closure of our building last March due to the pandemic prevented us from gathering in person to recognize the students of the month for the last couple months, we've shifted to a virtual program for the 2020-2021 school year in order to continue recognizing our students who are doing great things, especially now in spite of the challenges in front of them. The students we're honoring today exemplify the best of Lawrence High School in many regards, whether it's for their academic achievement, their artistic proficiency, their athletic prowess, the strength of character they display on a daily basis, or most likely a combination of some or all of the above, the Student of the Month Award is an opportunity for us to recognize the myriad ways our students contribute to the overall fabric of Lawrence High School. If you don't know how the nomination process works, each staff member is only allowed to nominate one student per year for Student of the Month, and we spread those staff nominations out over eight months between October and May. So when you think about it like that, the students we're honoring today are not just students of the month for January, but for these teachers, these are their students of the year. And I'd like to personally thank each and every one of our students of the month for helping to make Lawrence High School the incredible place that it is. Students, please keep an eye on your mail. We will be mailing home your student of the month certificate along with a few souvenir copies of this month's program booklet, just as you would receive at our traditional in-person event. In this video, you'll be hearing a few words about each student from the teacher or staff member who nominated them. So without further ado, I'd like to turn the microphone over to our first nominating teacher. Hello everyone, my name is Ali Dillian and I am the varsity cheerleading coach at Lawrence High School. This month I was selected to select a student of the month for the month of January for athletics and I chose senior Katie Prickrell. Um, Katie is a role model and a leader and is very helpful to all her teammates. She was one of the captains of our fall season for football and soccer. She is reliable, responsible, very trustworthy, and is very humble. And she has a lot of hope for this program even after she leaves. And she has a lot of faith in her teammates. Um, what made me select her is the fact that she is driven, she's motivated, and she is very, very talented. And I think that she is very worthy of getting student of the month. And I think that she is going to do wonderful things in her future. Congratulations, Katie. Congratulations, Ethan Strasfeld. I've had the pleasure to know Ethan Strasfeld for the past year and a half in my career exploration class. This year, Ethan has shown his interest in baking, grilling, and making dinners. He was a seasonal worker over at Costco's this fall and is now working at Wegmans. Ethan has learned how to manage his time and get to work independently this year. This past year has looked very different than in years past. Although there's been challenges in the beginning of the new school life, now with the pandemic, Ethan always made sure to turn in all assignments. Working remotely and practicing a video cover letter has helped Ethan improve his communication skills. Ethan has demonstrated his ability to check his calendar daily, to see if he has work for the day, check emails regularly, as well as communicate appropriately. Ethan has had lots of experiences to add to his resume after Lawrence High School. Ethan is a social, funny, caring individual who was a wonderful addition to our class. He has seen some of his friends leave Lawrence High School and now has taken the role of the new leader within our remote learning community. I've seen Ethan grow and mature this past year. What makes Ethan so special is his heart. He's always looking out for others and offers to support those who need it. Congratulations, Ethan Strasfeld, for being Student of the Month. Hi, everybody. My name is Adam Anastersky, and I am the ESL teacher here at Lawrence High School. Welcome to the Student of the Month celebration. Um, this year, my student of the month is Nady Espinosa. Nady is an 11th grade student who came to us from Dominican Republic in the beginning of the school year. Um, when Nady came to us, um, she really didn't have that much English knowledge and she was really concerned about her ability to succeed in school and to understand her classes and her teachers. So it was a really tough time for her at that time. 
But despite being an English language learner, she was not only able to learn English and be successful in my class, but she also was able to get an A in all of her classes for the first marking period. Um, this is something that's really difficult to do for any student, not just an ESL student. And she was um, one of my top students in the entire program, not just in her class. Um, but academic achievements aside, Nadie is just a complete pleasure to have in class and she's super helpful to her peers. And she always tries to make everybody feel welcomed in our class. She helps out her peers whenever she can. Uh, if we have a new student, she'll gladly translate something for me into Spanish and vice versa. She's open-minded and she's, you know, she's just a pleasure to have in the class. Um, she truly wants to learn. Um, if I had to describe Nadie using some adjectives, I think that the words that come to mind are positive, she's super hardworking, she's sweet, she's energetic, uh, she's a self-motivator, and just in general, just a beautiful soul. So I'm really thankful to have Nadie in my class this year, and I know that um, for her, being successful in ESL is just the beginning. I know that no matter what subject or what her future path will hold, she'll be successful in that pursuit no matter what. Thank you so much, Nadie, for being an incredible student. You deserve this award. Congratulations. Thank you. Hello, my name is Stephanie Jari, and I am an English teacher here at Lawrence High School, and I'm also the sophomore academy leader. Uh, it is my pleasure to nominate Sierra as my student of the month this month. Um, the reason why I nominated Sierra is that she is, she's not just a good student, which she absolutely is. She gets, um, she does all of her work. She asks for help when she needs it. She's an example for everyone. Um, but she just seems to be so excited to be in class. And, and it's sometimes very difficult to get engagement or to gauge student enthusiasm or engagement when we are online. Um, Sierra always participates and offers such insightful comments. Um, she really is a pleasure to teach and she's a hardworking student. And um, what I like to call a quiet leader, um, a quiet leader is a student who leads by example. Um, she doesn't feel the need to tell everyone how wonderful she is. She just does what she does. And it's pretty obvious that she's wonderful. Um, it, I'm happy to nominate her also because uh, I'm the sophomore academy leader and she embodies many of the qualities that we look for um, in students when we are nominating them. Uh, namely, like I said, the, the fact that she is, uh, she leads by example. Um, she's a good student, she's a good person. Um, and I think she's going to be very successful no matter what she chooses to do in life. Um, thank you very much. Hello, Lawrence students, families, and staff. My name is Mr. Leonard. I'm very proud to announce my January Student of the Month pick. It's going to the sophomore Anton Zudnow. Anton is one of my sophomores in my English 2 class, and I want to recognize him for his continued devotion to his studies, his strong communication, participation in class, and his ever-enduring effort in being the best student he could be. This school year is unprecedented and not like any that we have ever seen, so it's important to take a moment to recognize the strong efforts from all students. When given the opportunity to recognize one of my sophomores, Anton was the first to come to mind. He has consistently demonstrated all the traits that we admire in a Lawrence student, and he continues to find success in my class as well as other classes, which is highly commendable during this very difficult pandemic year. So I look forward to seeing his continued success through the rest of our time together this year, be it virtual or in person. And I'm confident that he and all students will continue to strive to be their best selves, despite the challenges presented by this year. You make us very proud, Anton. Look forward to seeing you in class. Keep up the great work. Hi, my name is Mandy Johnson, and I teach choral music and guitar here at LHS. Our high school program consists of three choirs, and I have been lucky enough to teach some of our current seniors since they were in seventh grade at Lawrence Middle School. Today, it is my distinct pleasure to recognize one of those talented musicians, Princess Rubulo. In class, Princess is that student who can find the delicate balance between bubbly humor and deep insight. 
every day she shows up fully focused and that regard for the music we make allows her to achieve at the highest levels. While she's consistently an A student, she remains so humble and spends so much of her time building those around her up. Princess is a silent leader. She's one of those people who can send a message of acceptance and camaraderie and a willingness to help others achieve through her actions while hardly saying a word. Last spring, Princess recorded gorgeously polished soprano parts for one of our virtual choir projects. And this winter, she expanded on that talent by going hours above and beyond what was asked to coordinate a beautiful video of she and her classmates performing. She did this subtly without asking for any recognition. In fact, she seemed content to let that hard work slip under the radar, but her classmates weren't. It was such a joy to hear them sing her praises and brag about how easy she made this creative undertaking look. Princess Rabulo is the kind of person that makes any group or program she, she's in better. She selflessly gives of her time and her many talents with unending energy and without ever boasting, though she would have every right to. Today, I am so happy to recognize Princess Rabulo for her talent, for her leadership, and for making our corner of the world a better place to be. Congratulations, Princess, and thank you for your hard work. Hello, everybody. I'm very pleased to be able to nominate Maduna Rishindran as my student of the month. Like many excellent students, Maduna has challenged herself academically, taking honors and AP courses in a variety of subject disciplines, and has a superior cumulative GPA. She's also a longtime member of DECA, the big business club at the school where students compete against other schools through role playing or developing business plans in front of judges. Both freshman and sophomore years, she was available, she was able to advance to the state level competition and hopes to continue that record for the remainder of her high school career. She's also played field hockey for all three years of her high school career. But what makes Maduna stand out in my mind is that like many of us during the pandemic, she struggled at times with keeping up motivation and a positive outlook. So she reached past her comfort zone and reached out for some assistance. We've been meeting over Zoom and trying to find some strategies that work for her. Some do, some don't. That's the way things usually go. But throughout it all, Maduna continues to be honest with herself, works hard, and tries new things. This isn't easy to do. It's much easier to stay stuck. So for all those reasons and more, I am very happy to be able to virtually present Maduna with Student of the Month from Guidance. I'm Marjorie Coben, School Counselor. My pick for Student of the Month for January is Erin Lidinski. Erin is a hard worker and a brilliant mind. During the school year, I've had the pleasure of teaching Erin in my physical education class. Every class needs an Erin. He is always there to break the everlasting awkward silence of Zoom class while I'm desperately waiting for another volunteer to answer. For those of you who have seen any Zoom meeting, you can surely understand why someone like Aaron is so crucial in these wacky times. I can always count on him to have a different perspective to any question I throw out there. This gets the class comfortable enough to start thinking outside of the box instead of the usual straightforward answer. Putting him in a leadership position during group discussions also gave Aaron another chance to shine as the humble mediator, guiding the group through an everyday discussion and getting to the topic points as well. Aaron was an easy pick for me because he displays a balance of maturity, hard work, being a great classmate to others, and still knows how to stay stress-free and have fun in class. I'm excited to have him in my health class next market period and have him bring his infectious enthusiasm to my classroom. Hi, 
I'm Stacy Zegas. I nominated Dan Greco for Student of the Month for Geometry. In the beginning of the year, Dan came to office hours for help and said that he was struggling because the class was fast and homework was assigned every night. I agreed with Dan, but assured him that if he stayed with it and put in the effort, he would make it through. Dan has done just that. He completes all of his homework assignments, comes to office hours if he needs help, participates in class, responds to chats, and as a result is doing very well. Dan didn't let the work in the beginning of the year scare him into giving up. He stayed positive and persevered. Dan Greco has truly earned this award of Student of the Month for Geometry. Congratulations, Dan. Hello, my name is Christine Reed and I teach math and computer science at Lawrence High School. The student that I have chosen for student of the month is Raphael Steiner. Raphael, you are an amazing student with a passion for computer science. Every day when I log on to a Zoom meeting, you're always smiling and you're eager to learn more about computer science. Even when you spend hours trying to figure out why your program didn't compile and I fix it with one semicolon in office hours, you never give up. You always stick it out and um, you're always quick to lend a hand to anyone who needs, needs help with their code. Um, I chose you for student of the month because I wanted you to know that I appreciate your dedication, your hard work and your perseverance every day. And I hope you carry these traits on throughout your life and congratulations on being student of the month. Bye. Hello, my name is Bob Lineman. I'm a math teacher here at the high school. I'd like to take a few minutes to uh, speak about my student of the month nominee, Carly Welsh. Uh, first though, I'd like to say, I'm really glad that we're still doing this, uh, recognizing students. Um, uh, it, this year more than any other year, I really think we need to let students know that uh, we recognize that the effort they're putting in and we know that they're struggling. Uh, and that was part of the reasons why I picked Carly. Um, she really, tries her hardest every day. Uh, and, and you can tell by the look on students' faces, they're having a good day, they're having a bad day. But with Carly, even if even if she was having a bad day, which she had told me there were times where she was, um, it, it never interfered with her work. It never interfered with her her, her attitude. I, when I would see her face on the camera, she always seemed to have a smile on her face, was ready to laugh at a bad joke. And, and there were a lot uh, of bad jokes. Uh, um, she just, she, she epitomized what we are hoping students are doing with this situation and making the best of it, regardless of the situation around them. Um, you know, I would like to really recognize every student that's trying hard because everybody here is really struggling. Um, but, you know, Carly stood out in my mind um, and I'm, I'm glad I'm able to recognize her. Um, so congratulations. Uh, keep it up. Keep working hard, you know, you know sound like uh, Dory from Finding Nemo. Keep on swimming, keep on swimming. Uh, but seriously, um, just keep up the good work. You're doing great. We're real proud of you. All right, congratulations. I wanted to say congratulations to Neil on being named Student of the Month. Uh, Neil has been a wonderful student uh, this year in my physics class. Um, although we have not met in person yet, uh, he is a student that I feel like I know better than almost any other student that I have. Um, when signing on to Zoom uh, each morning, he is one of the first students there and is always excited um, to get going, participating in our trivia and asking how things are going or um, maybe giving music suggestions uh, to play in a future class um, at the beginning. Um, he's not afraid to ask questions um, or share his thoughts on a topic. Um, and he has also set, helped set the tone for my sixth period class that unmuting yourself is not that scary and um, has in return made that class uh, my most vocal um, of all my classes, uh, which also in return has elevated that class um, as a whole, making everyone around him uh, better and uh, learning physics at a higher level. Um, I'm so appreciative uh, of Neil's energy that he brings and, and hope that he continues to make those around him better. 
um, especially as we transition to hybrid and eventually um, all in person as well. So once again, thank you, Neil, and congratulations on being named Student of the Month. Hello, I am Mr. Collins and I teach Modern World Civ History. For the month of December, I've chosen Jasmine Vaughn as my Student of the Month. The reason I've chosen Jasmine is not just for her academic success, She's gotten straight A's and B's in all of her classes, mostly A's. But during, during this difficult time of COVID, when uh, the challenges for students learning in the areas of organization, motivation, um, and enthusiasm has been very difficult, uh, Jasmine has managed to stay focused and embrace those important concepts. Uh, during our class, She's not only listening and following when she should be listening and following, but more importantly, she contributes to our class. She raises her hand, uh, she shares information and reviews the material we go over, but she also politely and confidently questions myself and the material, challenges uh, myself in order to make sure that she shares her viewpoint in class. I can count on Jasmine to help me out in terms of where we are, where we left off, any remarks I may have made in the future or in the past. Uh, I can count on Jasmine also for some eye rolls, smirks, and head nods at my futile attempts at humor. Uh, she's very courteous and friendly, failingly polite, unfailingly polite, and a great example for all the other students in class. I'm so happy and grateful that she's in my class, and I know that she's gonna have a very successful and happy high school experience so congratulations, Jasmine, on Student of the Month. Hi, I'm Mr. Modulesky, also known as Mr. Mod, and I am the video and photography teacher here at LHS. This year, my Student of the Month pick is a student from my TV production class. That student's name is Dan Gilliland. Throughout this year, Dan has been a kind and helpful student and person. Dan is very good about giving a thumbs up when I ask students if they can hear me or if I think there's a connection issue. That has helped to make the remote learning experience better for me and his fellow students. In addition, Dan asks great questions in class and writes thoughtful responses to class reflections. It is a pleasure to have Dan in my class and I'm happy to pick him as my student of the month. Thank you. As a Latin teacher at Lawrence High School, it is my great privilege to work with a diverse cross-section of students from our local community. I have seldom encountered a more genuine and hardworking student than Bavia Sehe. Indeed, those of us who work with Bavia know her to be a highly intelligent individual filled with academic curiosity, a positive attitude, and a gentle inner strength. Specifically, I've known Bavia for nearly four years during which time she has maintained the highest standards of ethics and conduct. She's also distinguished herself as an industrious student with grace and dignity. These attributes will carry her to success in life far beyond Lawrence High School, for she is not only a credit and an asset to herself, her family, her classmates, but to our Lawrence High School community. It is my honor to make Bavia, the World Language Student of the Month. Thank you. I'd like to thank all of our staff members for taking time out of their busy schedules to create and share these videos with us. Thanks also to Ms. Franny Sanfilippo for creating our certificates and programs, and to Mr. Tom Irvin for compiling these videos and producing the program. And of course, congratulations and thanks again to all of our Students of the Month for doing what you do and for being who you are. On behalf of the high school faculty, staff, and administration, I'm Dr. Barry Exa. Thanks for tuning in and have a great rest of your day.